Hi, I'm Hannah Sayer from Prince William School. I'm here to explain how paint spraying works. The nozzle was given a charge and this means a better spray. The droplets all have the same charge and repair each other so that the paint spreads out to form a large even cloud. Less paint is needed because the charged droplets are all attached to the object because it has an opposite charge and this is the paint spray. I'm Casey and I'm going to explain electrostatic precipitators. So the smoke comes up this bit into the positively charged grid where the gas is ionised. The smoke particles are positively charged so repel against the wires and are attracted to the plates which are negatively charged. The dust sticks, the clean smoke leaves the chimney and the ash falls. When farmers are spraying their crops they often charge the charge the spray um, so that it, uh, the, it is attracted to the plants which have a neutral um, charge. Uh, this reduces pollution as there is no uh, spray going elsewhere. I'm Georgia Wicks and I'm going to talk about photocopying lasers. The drum is pro positively charged inside the photocopier. The laser writes the words with electrostatic images which are negatively, negatively charged compared with the background which is positive. Drum stays, the drum stays charged where there is black on the paper and then the toner sticks to these parts so when the paper comes out there's ink on it. A heart defibrillator pumps 360 joules of energy into a patient's body. The shock to the heart is delivered in only a fraction of a second and they have to be opposite charges. Uh, the defibrillator is used if a person's heart stops. Um, one of the paddles is positively charged and the other is negatively charged. Um, a sudden charge is passed through the patient to make their heart contract strongly.